All right, guys. Thank you for watching this uh, judging dinner for the uh, 2016 autumn 2016 Stilton photo contest. We got Mark Vasconcelos of the Enterprise. We got Jesse Stansfield of uh, Stilton High School, and we have Carlos Vargas of Vargas and Vargas Insurance. All right, and um, we've picked uh, the winners. We've picked the ten finalists, and we'll go. Uh, through picture by picture, okay? Now for the seven uh, honorable mentions, we're going to go for, um, we're going to go by um, alphabetical order of the names of the photos. And the first photo for an honorable mention is for the birds, okay? For the birds. And if you guys want to look at the Hub Edge Realty Facebook page, you can see this photo on the site. Um, the judges have had plenty of time to look at these, and, and, and Mark, what do you think about this photo? Yeah, uh, yeah it was good. I mean, the, all the photos were very good. I mean, it was a tough decision picking, you know, picking one, one through ten. I mean, I like, it's very, it's creative. Okay. I would like to have the birds maybe facing the other way. Yeah, if all the birds face the same yeah, way. I'm sorry exactly. for the lighting, everybody. It's uh, as best we can do in this restaurant. We're at and Amelia's in Stoughton. I'm sorry. Oh, no, God. Everybody did a great job. Jesse, what about uh, for the birds? Yeah, I really like the simplicity mm -hmm. and the composition. Um, the, the lines are really nice. Um, I really like this picture. I rated it actually really highly. I think it was one of my favorites. Carlos, for the birds. Yeah, no, I, I enjoyed it because it's a it's at the Stoughton High School, and I think it would have been great if for the that third was just a little bit over a little bit. I, I also rated it as a as a great photo. Okay, great. All right, next uh, next up we have another honorable mention coming up here, and this is half in summer. Okay, half in summer. You can see it on the Hub Edge Realty Facebook page, and I thought it was a. The lighting on this myself, I thought it was absolutely beautiful. It's uh, The subject is obviously a tree. Mark, what do you think? I agree. The lighting is beautiful on that. You like the lighting, yeah? Exactly. Mm. Jesse? It's a classic autumn shot, beautiful leaves, full leaf. Really, again, simple composition. It's always something I stress when I'm teaching a class on photography. Um, there's nothing you're distracting us. It's just uh, the beauty of that tree and the uh, nice balance of exposure. It's a great shot. Carlos? I agree that it is a tree. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, it's probably a swamp maple of some sort. Okay. Uh, and it's it's a very very nice photo. I also liked it a lot. Okay, great. Thank yeah. you. All right. The next photo yeah. is yeah. looking up. Yeah. Okay. Wow. This was one of the favorites on the Stoughton Enthusiasts uh, website uh, Facebook page. <laughs> um, that's how uh, we got this photo, Mark. Not easy, to, not easy to do. You're going to be at the right place at the right time. The rainbow <laughs> is not going to be there long. All right. This yeah. is a really good. I, it's a little noisy. Hmm. So, but besides that, I mean, I know that's not easy to get. It's not an easy photo to make. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a great point, Mark. I think it, it's definitely hitting on one of the, the main things I think about when I'm making a picture, especially today, is like being in the right place at the right time. Um, definitely nailed that. When we were talking about this, we did discuss these pictures a little bit. We were saying we'd love to see a little bit more of what's what's underneath down here. Um, you know, it's hard it's hard to get that with the composition, but um, a really nice capture. No, I, I think I think that it's a great photo because it's a photo of Stoke. You you can tell it's Stoke just by looking at it, and just to have that uh, rainbow there just adds a lot to that photo. For the, the people building. that can't see, there is a rainbow in that photo, and that's what really makes it. So it's tough lighting in here. I, I appreciate that. All right. Moving to our fourth honorable mention. Yeah, right. It's, it's the old railroad tracks. The railroad tracks, yeah. Okay. Quintessential Stoughton. Railroad tracks divide the, divide the town in half. Mark? I like it. It ranked highly. I've taken this photograph before, so I definitely <laughs> like it. Good job. <laughs> Jesse. And, and actually, that's a great point, Mark. That's that's one of the reasons I, it wasn't in my top three um, is, is because I had seen it, probably. You know, we, we've seen a shot like this. It's a wonderful shot. It's got great composition. There's nothing distracting. Good exposure. All the things that you want in a picture. 
Um, but it's definitely something that we have seen before, which is why it wasn't my top three. Great shot, though. Carlos. Yeah, no, it's funny. As soon as I saw that photo, uh, I thought of Steve Kelly, who's a big proponent in, in the town about using the, the railroad to track people into the town. And I thought kind of an industrial type of look, almost a... Uh, um, I really ranked it high on my list, so it's uh, so I really liked it a lot. But Steve Kelly, all right, remind, that reminds me. Of. <laughs> all right, let's go to the next honorable mention here. You need an assistant, John. That's okay. I need you guys sitting right there. <laughs> Roland's on Wyman. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what what is, number is this? This is an honorable mention. Okay. Okay. Um, we're not going to rank the honorable mentions. Okay. We're only going to rank the top three. Right. So, um, uh, a shop, I think it's whimsical. I think it's got great color. Uh, Mark, what do you think here? Yeah, it's very creative. The reflection of the vehicle in, in, the, in the window here. It's an ordinary scene, and the photographer who it took this photograph did see something different. So, it took an ordinary scene and made a good photo out of it. Jesse, I love reflections. Uh, uh, most of my students know uh, the way to get an A in my class is take a picture of a reflection, and so yeah, I love it. It's got great color. Um, it's just, there's a lot of depth, and it invites me to spend some time in it because I'm not sure what's going on. So I look at the picture, and, and as, as Mark said, it's not uh, uh, the subject itself isn't anything, but the way it was taken was really, really nice. I really liked it a lot. Carlos. Yeah, no, I, I thought that this was a great photo. I love the color in it. It reminds me of Derek Dickerson, our local artist, small town. Derek Dickerson, uh, yeah. a shout out here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're so happy to have That's him in the town. That's two shout outs so far, Carlos. Right, and we just keep going here, right? You know what I do for a living, right? And I uh, I actually love what he did with Roland's TV, and I, 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 I love what he done at the Chicken Kebab and at his own store, so. Derek is definitely bringing a lot of artistic, you know, oh, he did flair that. He to did the that. I, Derek was involved in getting this girlfriend oh, done. Yeah, oh, I didn't yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Great, great, That's great. great. All right, next up. All right, next up. These judges don't know which photos uh, have uh, been picked here, so... This is as a, as a surprise to them as it is to me. State of Maine, this was the winner of the most likes. Uh, this uh, artist uh, already won a $50 prize because uh, she got the most likes on Facebook and that was the, that was the, uh, that was the number one reason and for, for that, that was the only reason for that prize. I'm just glad it was a good picture or a good photo, excuse me. So State of Maine, this is a photo of a, um, um, a Shetland pony maybe? I think it's a, like a miniature, miniature horse. A miniature horse, I it think. could be a miniature horse. Hopefully the artist will be able to tell us. Um, Mark? I like the lighting. You like the lighting? Yes. The animal. And I, was, was it the only one that was, had an animal? Well, uh, no, was there the was, one was were the birds as well. So we had two with the animals in them. Okay? Yeah. Nice job. The Jesse? The lighting is definitely what makes it. Um, you know, uh, it's... It's kind of this crisp, uh, it kind of reminds me of like a crisp autumn day. Yeah, it sure does, yeah. Um, and uh, what's great is the balance. You have this this rim light or, or, or um, backlighting, but also you see the mane here. You see what's going on in the foreground. Nice composition. It's following the golden ratio, the rule of thirds, and uh, there's nothing that's distracting us here. So nice shot. Carlos. Yeah, it, it actually uh, brings back the old Stoughton to me when, when, when I saw this, back the old farm and the chicken farms and this is probably something up off of West Street somewhere maybe that's where the stable is uh, but yeah no, it reminds me of an old-time photograph of the town even though it was just recently done cool uh, Jesse is uh, the high school uh, the Stone High School photography teacher this is actually one of his students uh, photos and I trust Jesse to be um, um, what is the I, word? I, I was I was ruthless actually with my with, <laughs> with this picture. It was the only picture that I knew. There may have been some others that I didn't recognize that were my students, but I know this is one of my students because she's one of my best students. And um, she submitted a portfolio to a regional art competition sponsored by the Boston Globe, all horses. Um, and uh, I love having her in my class. She's a great student, and it's a great shot. So, okay. um, but I was, but it was not. I will, I will say, it was not on my top three. I was trying to be, trying to be a good. Teacher. 
teacher uh -oh. and also be very fair. Um, but I'm glad I'm glad uh, it's here. I'm glad it's made Great. the top ten. I'm glad yeah. I got the most likes because she's a really great student. It's a great picture. Good. Great. Yeah. All right. Moving on to the last honorable mention. Okay. She's a senior. Yeah. All right. This is the town. And I, I played football in high school and college, and for me, um, I love the silhouetting, I love the skyline, I love the stanchion over here, I love the scoreboard, and for Stoughton, they'll be losing their football field after the season because they'll be building a new uh, 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 high school in Stoughton. So this is one of the last photos that people will see of the football field. So I think it's a great photo for those reasons. Uh, Mark. I agree with you 100%. You said it best, and I really like the sky in this. It's a great sky. One of the things I do, as well as teach photography, is actually announce the football game. So I, I actually love um, that field, too. I've grown to love it over the last two years. I've been doing the job. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic shot. All right, cool. Tell us. Wonderful photo of Stoughton. I mean, we have a great, a great uh, football team, and that that sky is beautiful. It's one of the things on Friday nights. Anybody can come Absolutely. down. A lot of, lot yeah. of old timers yeah. come down yeah. on Friday night. Right. We say hi, you know, at every home yeah. game, and, and it's a great place to be in the town. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're gonna come into the money now. All, All right. right. Boy. <laughs> Thank you. Mark uh, right. saying goodbye to Mark saying people. Hello. <laughs> Some of our right. neighbors here. This is where the, uh, the rubber hits the road. The rubber hits the road, okay? Coming in third place. The best uh, a photo could have done could have been three points. Three points. Okay, that would have been number one for uh, from the three judges. This is third place with 14 points. All right. Yeah, right. <laughs> and this is Meads Meadows. Meads Meadow. Yeah. All right. Okay. This is a um, this is a photo of uh, I guess what a lot of people from Stoughton would know where uh, they would skate. I guess the fire department comes and fills that up in the winter, and the kids skate on it. After the DPW cleans it up. Okay. So thank you, DPW. So we're gonna give a shout out to the Absolutely. DPW as yeah, well. Those, those, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> shout out to the DPW. Shout out to the firefighters. Firefighters. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. All right. So Mark, please tell us about this photo. Well, it wasn't in my top three, but it is. I know they they ice skate here. Carlos had told me that. Yeah. It is a nice photograph. Um, I don't know if that's fog in the back. I would have liked to add more depth in this photograph, but it's still it's a really nice job. Very well thought out. This was, uh, I think, maybe my favorite, if I can say was that. It? This was my top, and I think um, uh, the reason was just how simple it is. Um, I, it's the kind of picture I would want on my wall. Mm. I'd like to print it big and just have it be there. As, as it's a really contemplative, calming uh, thing. It's, it's not a, a, a picture that would necessarily do well in my class, which is kind of mm. funny. It's just this aesthetic that I really love. Um, you know, it's a beautiful picture, and it's something that I want to spend a lot of time with. Beautiful. Carlos. No, it, it reminds me of my backyard. It grew up on the hill over there. Oh. So it's, uh, <laughs> oh, wow. yeah, so it yeah, meets Meadow. It, it, it's a beautiful part of the town, and a lot of folks skate there. My, both of my boys learned how to skate on that pond, so it's a great photo. It was probably one of my top Top ones, yeah. Now let me. I'm gonna have to, without calling out any of the uh, any of the uh, judges. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now this photo got uh, from one of the judges. It got a number one. It got a three, and I have to call out one of the judges, and it also got a ten. Yeah, so, I think that's so interesting. <laughs> right? And there's another picture I think that we're gonna see here because we haven't seen it yet. That also that same thing happened with two people. Was it? So, yeah. I mean, right, it just right. goes to show that yeah. that it's it's totally not totally subjective, but, but it a is. lot of this yeah. is. Subjective. Yeah, absolutely. You got that right. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got that right. Yeah. All well, right. That, that is that's how important that yeah. 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 The contest, yeah. especially because you're bringing together three people with yeah. different opinions and. And I'm um, glad I do have these. Speaking of that, I'm glad I have these uh, judges because they come with three different backgrounds. Exactly. Um, um, uh, Mark is a professional photographer. He's out there pounding the pavement every day for the for the uh, Brockton Enterprise. Jesse teaches the uh, nuts and bolts of photography to his high school students, and Carlos is just a guy from Stoke 
You know, he's a he's Love a food. <laughs> photographing food. Photographing, photographing food. food. That's All right. The time. All right. In bathrooms. So so Stoughton is my uh, excuse me. Carlos is my eyes and ears. All right, coming so in. That was three. That was, that third, was place. three. That third was place. Three. We have two more. Congratulations. Right. We have two more. Congratulations. Congratulations. Absolutely. And actually, I do know the photographer of this uh, uh, photo. This is John Stagnoni of oh. of. Um, of the uh, Friends of the State Theater. Theater. So John took that. John oh, took that. Great yep. shot, Congratulations. John. I almost didn't pick it until I was talking to a, another professional photographer, uh, and she said that it was moody. There so it is. Moody. That's what she liked about the photo. And I also didn't want to pick it because I have a relationship with John, and right, I don't want to pick right, favorites. Right, right, right. But I took a second look at this photo after yeah. she uh, gave that uh, recommendation. So. Yeah. It's a wonderful <laughs> photo. All right, coming in second place. <laughs> All right, this is called Michelle in Conservation, Ooh. okay? Now, we had some discussions about these photos, and um, and I am not a religious guy. I've been harping that all night, but there's something um, to me that is um, angelic about this photo. Um and John Stagnoni says thank you. Oh. Okay. Um, there's something angelic about this photo. I love the silhouette of the little girl. I love the sun uh, beating, uh, not beating, but... Um, uh, beaming? Beaming, maybe, maybe yeah, off beaming of the her. back of yeah. her head as it's bowed. And I love, and she's looking, it's conservation. It's a nice, it, you know, the yep. Stoughton Conservation is a big five or 600 acres. Yeah. Mark. Wonderful. It was my favorite. Uh, I take photographs of people all day. I really want to see people in my photographs. And not only is the girl standing, she's not just standing there, she her hands actually doing something. So there is, there is action in this photograph. So anything with people is definitely was my favorite when I saw it right away. Cool. And I will admit, I think you had to put one as 10. I think this was my 10. Um, oh, wow. Uh, it, for, for, for no reason, and like it had to be. It's a, was it right? Yeah, am I right? You are, yeah. Yeah. There was a ten. Um, it's a wonderful picture. It really is, and and you can tell. Uh, I see like a parent taking a picture of a kid, and and this being like a cherished picture of that kid for sure. Um, everything that everyone has said, the, the color, the lighting, everything. I I, I can yeah. say a lot about it. The reason it wasn't in my top, I, sh I you know the only reason was was just because of this thing that you're saying. Like you take pictures of people, that's your thing. Um, I love the, the the minimalist landscape. That meadow was like what really drew me in. So yeah. it's yeah. just it's just a, an aesthetic. <laughs> Interesting difference. that the two professional photographers here yeah. have completely and opposite, totally uh, different. Yeah. Totally different uh, it's true. Absolutely. Yeah, two different. Carlos and I'm the guy in the middle. So I I didn't pick this <laughs> as my top one because. I, I think it was a little dark for me. You know, I I, I really love the way the that whole sun is coming through there. And I have a photo of this that came uh, came across about a year or so ago of one of my sons in the backyard. Similar type of thing, uh, and it was dark. I kept it, but it, it just you know. So I think it's it's not my favorite photo, and it wasn't my favorite photo. Uh, but I think it's a great photo. I think the whole composition. Of course, yeah. is a, All of these yeah. were really wonderful pictures. Yeah, no doubt. absolutely. This photo came in, and this photo had um, a total of 13 points. All right. Okay. So, so it had a one, a two, and a, and a ten. Wow. Well, where where Meads Meadows had a 14. I'm so, the ten. I'm sorry. So no, do you know who this is? Can we say? I don't know okay. who this is. Right off the bat. Congratulations. I don't. Yeah. Congratulations. This photographer, second place. Yep. Well done. Congratulations. All right. And now the coup de gras, the uh, what are the superlative words we can use here? The winner, of... ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the winner coming of... <laughs> in as the number one choice. I guess that's so, my job, actually. The, the that's right. That's my voice. Literally, the hub edge <laughs> photograph. <laughs> that's actually, pretty good. If I ever need a yeah, yeah, uh, right. backup. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, I almost didn't even pick this for the top ten photos, and I looked at it, and there were two other photos that I looked at, and I was gonna pick them. And uh, this wasn't going to make my top 10, but I looked at it again. So this is called Tree Guardians. And uh, this is for the, two, the winner of the 2016 Autumn Stoughton Photo Contest. I love the name of the photo. I love that it is, has some mystery. I love that it reminds me of Halloween because of that, um, uh, I guess that's a, 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 a tombstone back there, or a tomb 
I don't know what it is. It's at the Evergreen Cemetery. I could be wrong, but this is at the Evergreen Cemetery. It's right behind the pond that's in the middle there. And uh, it used to be... It, it, it may be a shed of some sort back back in the day. It's not any type of a tumor or anything okay. like that. All right. It's I guess sort of me a being a casual guy, I wouldn't know that, and that's why I would my mind would go there. Yep. Yep. Uh, um, Mark, yeah, this was my second choice. I I did besides the tree, I thought it was a tomb also. So I like it. The, the photographer was definitely thinking outside of the box, but just with a tree added the tomb, and I know, now I know from yeah. Carlos it's a, I think it's a shed. shed I yeah. think I yeah. might yeah. have the winner here, and it's Carolyn Owens. Well, congratulations. congratulations. Yeah. Carolyn, Carolyn Owens, congratulations. You won $300. All right? All right, congratulations, yeah. All it's right. a great shot. It's another one of my favorites. Um, there's a lot of depth. Uh, following the rule of thirds, one of the things we talked a lot about with the composition. Um, but you've got the uh, the color, you've got the trees, uh, kind of you know standing guard there. Um, you've got the uh, that sort of whatever the shed, and then you've got it's just so many things going on. There's a lot of depth, but it's a simple photo at the yeah. same time. So it's using the complexity in a simple way, and it's just all working really well. Cool, Carlos. Yeah, and I kind of I kind of thought the same thing. That whole depth, just looking back, and uh, this is the cemetery, I believe. I could be wrong, but I think the cemetery. So. Beyond there, there's all kinds of other trees, mature trees, and I love the uh, these cedars in in the front here, plus the swamp maple. Do you know? So I think. You really know? You're you are saying this with authority that so, you know these different types of trees. I, I, oh, that's a swamp maple and that's a cedar. How Absolutely. would you know that? Well, it's a swamp maple because it's all scraggly, I think, and that's a nice maple. I call it swamp. Could be just a maple. Yeah, yeah. But that's definitely a cedar <laughs> tree. Um, we so. just, I, I have no idea about trees, except um, they're either evergreen or deciduous, that's all I know. And you want them off your lawn. I got them off <laughs> I, 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 I don't have a lawn yet, actually. All right. So it's coming. All right, listen, everybody, thank you so much for entering your photos into the 2016 Autumn so, Stoughton Photo Contest. Like I will be uh, doing the Spring 2017 Stoughton Photo Contest. And uh, we'll have more uh, to talk about when that starts in March. So start thinking about your shots. Start thinking about what will win the $300. So um, huge thanks to Mark Vasconcelos yes. of the uh, Brockton job. Enterprise. He's Thank out there on Twitter all the time. What's your Twitter handle? At Photogmark. At uh, fo underscore ENT. Fo at Photogmark underscore ENT. Yes. Jesse, do you, have a, do you have a Twitter? I... I think I do, but uh, <laughs> don't worry about yeah, it. I don't think I, I don't really use it. But um, that's, yeah, that's I'm at the high school. Uh, come see me there, I guess. Yeah. Check <laughs> it at the front desk. You need a visitor pass. Yeah, Carlos <laughs> at Vargas Insurance. He's got a shop in Stoughton. Yeah, he's got a shop in uh, Dorchester. Yeah, and uh, I thank everybody so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Everyone. Congratulations. Okay. All right.